Hello and welcome back to the next video in our Pattern Room series. Today we're going to talk about what actually is a DXF file so you know what you're ordering and how you can use it. A DXF file is a universal file format which can be opened by any pattern making system so Gerber, Letra, Optitex, PAD, a variety of systems. It's just a file format that allows you to then import that pattern to use it. I'm going to show you today how I do that. This is our pattern making system. So we just go up into the file and import and it's a DXF AMA file and we have exported in centimeters. All you'll need to do, there'll be a test square, which is a 10 by 15 centimeter square in the pattern, in every pattern that is exported. Um, so you can test whether you have imported it in correct way. <clears throat> For those people who use inches, your system will be set up automatically for inches um, or, or it may be millimetres. So you just need to check that uh, test square to make sure that you've got the right scaling. And if it's wrong, then the reason will be because uh, we have exported in centimetres, not millimetres. So I'm going to click on OK to import that. Click on the file. I'm going to click on this loose file. And it brings it in like this. So we've got our cut lines and our sewing lines in there. You can see it has multiple points on it and if it's a graded pattern it'll show the graded lines as well uh, if it was just a single size it will come in just like this it has information it's very small but if you look over on the right hand side here you can see that there is other information this one here has sleeve written on the end um, and then it's got the full pattern name there um, so then you can just adjust the pattern names accordingly to what you're doing. For me personally, I would just copy and paste that one up to the top level and then I've still got my sleeve here. It's got my cutting instructions and my fabric um, indicator here, whether it's main or contrast, but that again is up to you. You can now save this file into the format of your pattern making system and it's available to use as you normally would with any of your other pattern making systems. So I hope that was helpful for you. In the next video, we're going to go through what to expect from an Illustrator pattern that you have purchased from Pattern Room. See you soon.